Welcome back to House TV Live. I'm Rick Spence, and with me today is Jen Messina with Jennifer Messina Interiors out of beautiful Marin County, California, doing work all over the Bay. And this house is just tremendous. What a beautiful home. And I understand it's a a repeat customer as well. It is. They have two children who they knew they wanted to be able to entertain lots of friends and be the house that all the kids bring their friends to. And then adults could be in the same floor without it being too much noise. And the house was, it was a little cottage, which is very classic in Marin. And they were able to utilize some of the cottage and lift it up. And so anything on the main floor is new. We were looking, when we were designing, it was a transitional home. So we didn't want to go too modern. We wanted this to be the home that would carry them through for for the duration. So we want to look at classic design. And so we chose a dark wood floor, which I think is really beautiful. Natural stone, big windows, and then there's a peaked ceiling with the wood planks on the ceiling to kind of, just to make it special. And it's a really simple, material to use. It's a little bit more expensive than just doing sheetrock, but it has a beautiful effect. Yeah, I love the high ceilings when you can do it. What was your strategy with the lighting? Uh, Choosing great light fixtures that play off each other. We had a lot of fun with that. To make like the dining area fancier, we did more of a kind of crystal pendant. And then in, in the kitchen area, it's still glass, but less glamorous in that way, but still pretty. That's really nice. That island is pretty substantial. What kind of stone did you go with? So that is a Carrera, and Mother Nature is the best designer, as we know. So it was beautiful to pick out the slabs, and you know, it just makes a very, like, touching it is so nice. I just love natural stone. <laughs> I'm totally with you. What's your approach on hardware and sort of some of the finishing elements in a space like that? I, I think that choosing your finish is important because you're going to carry it through the whole house. So you decide, am I going with a brass? Am I going with chrome? Am I going with um, like a satin nickel with matte black? And, you know, things come and go with finish trends. So you got to pick what you really like and not think, oh, what's everyone else doing? And just say, oh, I really like this, especially if it's a long-term home. Anything that is going to be touched, you know, doorknobs, faucets, it makes a difference. It really does. So if you can budget for that and plan it when you're looking at the scope of your project, at the end of the day, you're not going to wish you'd done something differently. And you also squeezed in a little desk in there too. Are they working from home? You kind of using that as like a sort of home office kind of in the kitchen with beautiful view kind of thing? Well, we knew there was a lot of space. And so we thought, what is a good functional use of the space? And we did built-in desks so that two people could kind of have that be the hub of where they live and do their business. And then, you know, if it's designed well, you can tuck it away so it doesn't look like, oh, messy desk. And then you can be in the the flow of your of your life and not have to go off to a room. Closer to like the tea kettle or a snack, you know, so it's <laughs> exactly. like, you know, so it makes it real easy, right? Maybe that's mm-hmm. too easy. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> well, we put a little, we put little uh, fridge drawers at that end of the island so that you could grab something quick and then go out the doors to um, the outdoor kitchen or, or, you know, so you don't have to make the long trek to the fridge. It's kind of nice to have. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's great. Tell me about the dining room and kind of how you've, you know, brought some additional life to it. We decided that it was time for another layer in the space. And, and so once we did the grass cloth, we could, they could add their, their gorgeous art into the space, which made it extra, just beautiful and inviting. And then we added the wainscot on the walls. And so it just gives the space a more finished feel and a, a little bit dressier, which is nice. Now, these folks are repeat customers. Mm-hmm. So you can speak to before house. Yes. And after house, pretty much, right? And how the tools yeah. have evolved. And where are you seeing just like sort of those aha moments when you're working with clients now with using the house platform? There's a lot of programs that you could spend a lot of time trying to learn. And you got to focus instead on design and your relationships. So it's like, how can I, you know, source this? And so house came up with this great uh, 3D planner. So you go in and you take all your measurements and then you use the the 3d planner and you can show your client it was so fun how we took the space and we're like okay we could do this oh what if we do this and you're just moving furniture around and you can make your your sofa the dimensions you want they get just a sense of the space and scale which is really helpful 
And also the room boards for the client to see all the textures and materials. You have these different tools where it's 2D, 3D, and then just textural. So it's brought me so much more ease with clients. So I have so much appreciation for these tools. That's awesome. All right, so let's go into the office space. You converted it from a kid space to like an office hangout space. And it was really fun because I wanted to push that we make the space different than the rest of the house. Because once in a while, it's nice to not have everything kind of feel the same. So like, oh, we can, we can do a darker wall. We can go richer and have it be a little bit more moody. So tell me about some of the, the key elements and experiences in this, in this office. When we were deciding what we were gonna use for a desk, for example, we wanted something that could be multifunctional. We have a beautiful table. You know, if they wanted to set up game night, they have space to sit around. And then our bookshelves are really, they're cool because they have file drawers. So you can hide a lot of office-y kind of things and tuck it away and it just it doesn't feel like, oh, an office office. So I think that was part of our goal was for it to feel like an office, but not an office. And then, you know, really comfortable floppy sofa, painted the walls to make it feel cozier and then added a big arc light. So we didn't have to put a fixture in, it would be then designating that space as always a table there. So there's there's room for them to, to make changes without having it be very, uh, very challenging. I love all that because, I mean, if you did like, for example, built-ins and then you had a fixture, like you said, you have like these dedicated spaces that are gonna be very difficult to change. Yes, we looked into doing built-ins and they're really expensive and they do, one of the concerns was, Okay, so what if we don't want it to be that way anymore? Because we know that this room's gonna be flexible. So we f found furniture that worked and that made it so that if they did wanna change it, it wasn't devastating to the budget. So let's, you know, we, we kind of glossed through the entryway, but mm -hmm. the entryway is really, really fun. And what a significant, you know, chandelier you have in there. And that's like a statement when you walk in. And throughout the house, there's just beautiful art and it just feels warm and welcoming. Well, the entryway, I really like it. It's probably one of my favorite spaces because it has a huge ceiling. So this big scale and we could have this staircase that felt significant and beautiful without feeling too dressy. The homeowners have this beautiful art collection and they were able to create this beautiful gallery going up the stairs. The chandelier is so cool. It's really, really beautiful and elegant. And let me tell you how heavy that is. So that's something you have to think about is how heavy, what kind of structure do you need to support a really heavy chandelier? And it's one of our favorite features because it just feels it's round and the light when it's on at night is just beautiful and they've got windows that are really tall windows so you can see it from when you approach. And so the tone of the entry is very significantly played out through the house. And so it does set, it does set a feeling. So when you come in, you get a sense of the homeowners and the home and it's like a relaxed elegance, but beautiful enough that you can feel like really proud of your home and feel like it's a place you want people to come and, and experience time with you. Well, this right. has been fantastic. I, I, I want to see more of your work. I want to do another one of these. And thank you so much for the time. Thank you. I hope to see you again. All right. We'll do it again. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.